How to create beautiful promo marketing materials. Hi, I'm Joel Grimes with the Joel Grimes Academy. And I'm going to show you how you can create beautiful marketing materials that you can send out to your clients. Now, I am a photographer and I work in the photography arena. So my clients happen to be generally uh, ad agencies. So I'm winning over an art director, an art buyer, a creative, somebody that's, that is in the buying position to hire photographers. I also, on occasion, work editorially where I want to win over a photo editor or the assistant photo editor. So I have to get my name into their brain. I talk a lot about this on my marketing uh, side of things. So the best photographers don't end up making or the most money or being the most successful. It's the ones that learn how to market. And so that's what I've been doing for years. So I teach on this and every time I teach on the promo side, how to get your foot in the door. So creating materials that can do that. I talk a lot about the cold calling, which is important, but to have something to drop off or something that you can get into their hands. So I've been doing all sorts of custom uh, little uh, drop off uh, sort of promos for years, but that takes a lot of time. And so there are new, a ton of new options out there on the market today that we didn't have say that even 10 years ago when I was still knocking on doors pretty heavily. I still do this, but not as much as I used to, but I was pretty aggressive. I, there's times when I've uh, made over 3000 cold calls in a year. I've logged in that many cold calls and show my portfolio 200 times in sitting out gazillions of packets, packets that get in uh, my material in front of somebody. So, um, I came across a company called Sal, S-A-A-L, Digital. Let me get my glasses here because I'm terrible. So Sal Digital, and they have, um, sal-digital.com is their uh, website. And they make this process extremely easy to go and build something. So they have all different size. The first thing I did was I created a little... Uh, uh, drop off for on my Harley series. So I spent um, 100 days straight photographing Harleys across America, the riders, and this is the little uh, promo that I put together. And it's little little um, is that wire? I think it's wire bound, and it's punched. They do it all for you. It just it shows up just like this, and so I have my my cover, and then I have all my spreads in here. So I have. Um, I'll show you in a minute how it lays out, but there's my um, uh, sort of my Harley layouts here, and then I have my portraits. So this is not very expensive, and I, I can't remember the exact cost, but I think it's around uh, ten dollars. It depends on how many how many images you put in there. I put quite a few, and I can't remember the exact number. Something like thirty-two pages. I would probably go a little less than this. I wanted to show the whole the whole project, so. I um, ended up stacking it quite a bit with, with I, what I call my best images. I would go maybe as low as, say, 24 images. Uh, I'm not sure the exact number that you can do in terms of they have a click and, and they, you can pick what number of pages you want. Um, when I was doing handmade, I would go as low as 12, 12 images or 12 pages. So. Um, 24 would be pretty good. So that might be a good place for you to start. So uh, let's take, let me show you how this all works. You download, so you go over here and you download their um, sort of designing editor program. And it's really easy. So let me show you where that's at. Let's go over here and click on it. So once you download it, you, uh, you open it up and you, you go into what you want. So I'm gonna show you here in a minute. I did a book. This is really beautiful too. But um, you go in here and it's really pretty easy to learn. Within about 15 minutes, you can figure out how to center your images, work on the type. And let me just show you here. Uh, this is sort of what I just showed you, the first uh, layout part of this uh, Harley little project I did. And so you can go here, you can move images around. See, so they're easy to move around. I'm not sure, let's see, Command Z. Yeah, it takes you back to where you were. Um, you have all these little guides up here that you can go and center things up. So I kind of mixed it up. I went from like a picture with a lot of white around it to a full bleed. Um, 
here's two e sort of two equal uh, size images on one, uh, you know, op opposing each other. Here's a black background around uh, a little more saturated image. And so I just mixed it up. Here's two panels. And so I can take, here's on white. This is kind of a cool layout here too. I like that. Um, you can take that image and bring it over. You just go copy, bring it over and say, I'm going to rotate them around. So it's pretty easy. So you just go through here, pick what you want. Um, I didn't do a lot of type. Let's go to the very back. Here's your kind of a, a timeline of the whole thing here. Let's grab it here. And at the very end, I am going to show you, I did a little, I just said about my project, the summer, I spent the summer, uh, 100 days on the road, self-assignments, covered 30 states, 13,000 miles, Joel Grimes, uh, my website, my email, and my phone number. So pretty simple. So this ends up going in the mail. The potential client that I want to hire me ends up looking at this and they go, wow, this guy's really good or whatever. They, they'll take a look at it. And I count that as one of my power of eights, which means I want to get my name into their brain. That's the key to make, getting work, folks. It's not being the best photographers on the planet. So let's take a look at this little book here. And so this I would use on a special occasion. Now, I might go to the next size up if I was going to do and use this as a portfolio. Um, I've got other portfolio concepts that I use too. But this is, comes in a beautiful box. So let's say I want to do a drop off. And a lot of agencies say, look, um, we, we don't have time to see you in person. Uh, but could you send something over and we'll, you know, drop it, drop it off and then we'll, you pick it back up. So you're not giving this away, but it's really simple to use. So let's take a look at this gorgeous little box here. And then I'm going to hold this up. There's the cover. And then um, it's an acrylic front, which is really heavy duty. Um, and I just made it simple. Joel Grimes, not a lot of type. Uh, if you're a graphic designer, you'd probably have some different ideas. Uh, one of my favorite images is my cowboy image right there. Um, and that is sort of my opening page. And then here goes my, my um, double truck spreads. And these all flat, they hold up flat, very easy to, um, to show. So there's my images. And I just picked um, a series of images that sort of represent me uh, and what I want, the kind of work I want to get. And again, at the very end, I have a very simple, not too complex, Joel Grimes. You get my basic info, uh, so your phone number, your website, and email. And so uh, there you have just a gorgeous, simple little book that you can go and help market your work out in the marketplace. So what the, the reason why I think this is important is because today we have more tools than ever to go and create really fun projects and fun things. I was doing this by hand, took a lot of time. So, and I was a lot of, in the early days, I was actually printing them on a printer, chopping them all up. I bought a, a, a punch and everything. It took a long time to build this. Now I can just go very quickly and design it. And the nice thing about this is, in the old days, I had to design this in Photoshop. I wasn't really good at um, Illustrator or uh, a, a uh, not Illustrator, but uh, InDesign. And so this program is so easy to use that you can just, within about 15 minutes, you, it's pretty easy to navigate. So you don't have to go and learn a whole different program. To Photoshop, I could probably design this in Photoshop, but it doesn't lay it out in pages like this. So it would be very difficult to, um, to see kind of how everything looks in, in sequence. So they do it all for you right there. So I would check out uh, sal-digital dot com s a l l and uh, they have given me uh, a coupon code for you guys so we're gonna post that uh, down for a link so you can go uh, retrieve that um, that uh, discount code and I think it's sixty dollars off any order so with that take a look at this come up with an idea that you can go and promote yourself to the marketplace and get hired to do what you love uh, just if I wasn't doing a tutorial. Um, so I'm going to try to make that action button available to you. And so let's see. Um, we will either put it on the Joel Grinds Academy 
or joelgrimesworkshops.com. I'll make a, uh, see if I can find a way to do that. Now, in the academy, I go through step by step, painfully explaining exactly how to make that action button or that, that set of, of uh, uh, frequency separation uh, settings. Um, and it takes a little bit of time. So it's not hard, but it just takes a little bit of time. So I hope you enjoyed this start to finish with uh, Bryce as a beautiful uh, a beauty portrait. And I love that I love that concept of beauty portrait. I used to say beauty fashion all the time, but really I, I think I'm I'm drawn more to beauty portraits. And I think this is a good example of that. Very simple, one light, one modifier, one camera, one lens. You don't have to have a tilt shift lens uh, to do this. Just that's just an, a side little thing that I uh, am able to do. But um, go out, grab a subject, put that light right over the top of the camera. Uh, use a, a little teeny boom of some sort. You don't have to have a big one, and you're good to go. So get out, create images, enjoy the process of being an artist.